Hello, welcome to a story into the unknown. Okay, now just a bit of an introduction. I've been trying to write something for this story thing and I just haven't been able to come up with anything that makes me feel excited or inspired and I'm not sure why. I think I've just got a bit stuck. Um, so what I do in times like this, I gather things like this, images um, and prompts that help me get some ideas. Now I've got all these from the garage uh, where I keep stuff like this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out six different images and from them tell a story. So I have no idea where this is going to go and neither do you. So I like the fact that Advent is the beginning of the word adventure and I like a bit of an adventure. So let's do this. Let's go on a story into the unknown. Um, so if you're sitting comfortably, I shall begin. So I put the cards that way down. Right. So once upon a time, there was <laughs> what's this? Okay. There was a badger who lived in a wood. And it was a beautiful place to live. It was peaceful, it was safe. He had lots of friends in this wood, and the badger just loved living in this magical, wonderful place. Okay, what's gonna happen next? Ooh, okay. Right. What's this? Okay. Okay, so this is a city. Um, there were some planners who lived nearby who had this amazing idea of extending the city where they lived into the woods and knocking the woods down. And the badger got to hear about this and the badger was really upset because the planners didn't really care much about the wood and they didn't really care much about the badgers or a lot of the animals, particularly the badgers, they often saw badgers as pests. And so the badger got really downhearted knowing that the wood, his home might not be there for much longer. What's gonna happen next? Okay, um, okay, a stag. So whilst the badger was getting really upset about this oncoming disaster, a stag bounded in and I think, I like, I like his antlers. They look really joyful and I think they're golden pears, but I'm going to say they're bells. So this stag came bounding into the forest. He is a joy bringer. He likes to bring joy wherever he goes. And so he was hoping to cheer the badger up a bit. But when the stag heard about the news of the developers, he became as sad as the badger did. And together they had a very long and intense conversation about how they might be able to stop the situation. Okay, what's going to happen next? What's this? Geese. Okay, so as they were talking, um, some geese came flying into the woods, flying in from the sky in their V formation. Um, I've seen a lot of them lately <laughs> high up in the sky and they just are really good at knowing how to work together. They know how to be community and they know how to organise them themselves. So they were the exactly the right people to come and talk to the badger and to the stag about what to do about the developers. Okay, so what happened next? Oh, right, okay, what's this? Okay, so whilst they're discussing plans um, to save the situation, they decided to nominate a leader and they would dress this leader up in human clothes so they found a bubble hat and they found a jumper and they found a scarf and they found some gloves and they dressed the badger up in these clothes to go to the next development planning meeting, which was the very next day. Dang, 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 dang. And what happened next? The final card. Sheep. So whilst the badger's at this planning meeting, the doors burst open and in come a load of sheep with Santa hats on. And um, the meeting is suddenly thrown into disarray and the developers uh, don't know what to say. And so the, the, the um, badger speaks louder about his passion for the forest. The sheep bleat louder and then the stag comes bounding in. The geese come swooping in and suddenly all proceedings are brought to a stop because the developers are listening to the voices of the animals and um, listening to the badger, particularly, who just loves the place where he lives. Now, 
I don't know whether this is going to be expanding into the woods or not, but it was just a wonderful thing to think that the power of the badger's voice, whoops, of the geese's voice, of the stag's voice and of the sheep were powerful enough to at least begin to make a difference. <laughs>